You know, there was a guy that showed up at the door today and he looked like Crocodile Dundee, I swear. <laughs> Dundee or the guy from the... the, the oh, na- the guy that got killed by yeah, the stingray? Yeah, Steve, Steve Irwin. Poor guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I really felt like when I went up to the door, I was like, hey, you're in costume too, man. That's awesome. No, that was not a costume. <laughs> it was not. It was not it was a nice. And then right. as he, he was asking for directions. Yeah, Wait, we're, we're rolling. And, hey. and Hi, then, I'm Javier. <laughs> and I'm Melanie <laughs> from Live Well. And you're <laughs> going to continue probably? I got a frog in my throat. You got well, you've got a mouse and you're outside. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the guy was asking for directions. Crocodile, um, crocodile done. Well, yeah, not crocodile. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Steve yeah. Irwin was here asking for some directions and uh, as he was getting back in his truck, he's like, "I like the outfit." and gave me a big thumbs up. Well, at least he noticed there was an outfit cuz your first <laughs> customers didn't even notice there was an outfit. They just kind of they averted eye tension. Yeah. For a long time, I think I made them very uncomfortable. You made me uncomfortable. <laughs> I think I made a lot of people uncomfortable this morning, come rolling in here like this. But, yeah. Um, I knew what you were. <laughs> even the cameraman. <laughs> yeah. See, he knew what Dion, it was. Dion so, knew it. so what was awesome is uh, so many kids came in today. We had littles. Yes, you had a lot of little kids. We had all kids. different yep. ages, and I was able to make everyone smile today. She she literally mm-hmm. spent time with all the little kids and made sales like this in a Minnie Mouse outfit. And I'm sure that came out of the company credit card as well. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh yeah, this one was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I've been so bummed out that we, this was gonna be our year to go to Disneyland. Oh. As a family. But with the oh. shutdowns and everything that happened and the world being closed, yeah, and like the vortex that we went through and the wormholes and all of that. Now yeah, there's that aliens, yeah. But you want to know the real truth about this costume? What? Is when I first started out in advertising. You're going to tell this story. <laughs> You're going to go there, really. <laughs> I once overheard a conversation. Mm-hmm. I don't think they knew that I was t- listening in. Uh-huh. I wasn't like snooping. I oh, was no, just like no, on no, the other line. You weren't snooping. You weren't snooping. Like it was, it was before Zoom, and we were supposed to all be on the line. Uh huh. Yeah, and I overheard a conversation. And somebody called you Minnie Mouse. Well, they said that my voice is a little squeaky for advertisements. No. So. <laughs> I mean, here we are doing hour-long advertisements, and I've never heard one complaint. In fact, we have customers that come in here just to see you. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so. So that's where it started. I was like, really? So yeah. I just buy everything, Minnie Mouse. Yeah, no, thanks. On the company that. credit card. Mm-hmm. You know, my mom saw last week's show. Okay. I got to tell you her reaction because I, I spent Sunday with her and she was watching last week's show and she's all, she used the company credit card? How did she get the company credit card? And I said, I handed it to her. <laughs> yeah, my mom was all freaked out about that too. She's like, I heard Javier saying that he used you used the credit card inappropriately. And I was like, you know, this is all kind of staged, right? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so this is Fishbowl. There is a format to the show. We don't just yap the whole time. Okay, so Fishbowl... It was our Friday night gathering where we would get together and we would talk about what the customer needs were for the week and what the customer questions were for the week. And instead of keeping it to ourselves, we decided to share it with you. So now every Friday night, we still gather, we have our tea, we used to have beer, but someone's a little non-beery right now. And so, hey. a little non, a little non-beery, not, very not a whole non-beery. lot. Non-beery. Okay, very non-beery. Not at all. So, so we still get together, but now we get together with you, and we share the information that you guys have been talking about this whole week. So that way, we can educate the general public on how to shop smart, how to sleep better, how to live healthy, and hopefully, we can help you just find a better, better outlook on sleep in general. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not to mention, we have a little bit of fun along the ways because Mel, well, Mel likes costumes. I love costumes. I I can find any excuse to wear a different costume. Actually, I have more costumes in my closet right now than I have regular clothes. All purchased on the <laughs> company credit card? No, some of them are thrift store f- Oh, finds. okay. Yeah, I'm really into the thrift stores. I miss the thrift stores. Man, I can, yeah. I love a thrift store. I miss store. them because I there was no, mm-hmm. I miss the thrift stores because you weren't using the company credit card at the thrift stores. <laughs> hey, what kind of tea is this? Is this is good. This tea? is apple and panada. So let's do our cheers and start with our topic. Cheers to the fruit taco. Oh, yeah. it's an empanada. That's a fruit taco. That's that's a Mexican. Fruit it taco. is not. All right. So today's topic. 
Today's topic is night sweats. And there's a reason we picked night sweats. We had a very nice uh, Air Force person come in and he, um, he was talking about having some issues and we were like, whoa, we can figure, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I was realizing that I was being really rude because that's a very serious topic. It's a very to serious topic. But I'm waiting to open this, but I'll wait. Okay. All right, so night sweats. So anyway, so. Yeah, so this, this yeah. airman came in looking to purchase a bed, mm -hmm. made a great purchase and he was asking me, hey, you know, ma'am, how can I sleep cooler? Because I'm waking up in the middle of the night, just sweating like crazy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had a conversation which prompted this because he started asking me some questions about, you know, what are the causes of night sweats? Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the bed that we sold him and the sheets that we hooked him up with, we hooked him up with some really nice tensile sheets, mm -hmm. a great protector and a mattress that's designed specifically for heat issues right and then he said so what are the causes of night sweats uh it okay. prompted me to do some further research and i did go ahead and um submit that to him and he was so thankful that i had personally taken the time to follow up on some of those things and it prompted him so you did you did end up you did end up emailing him I did. Okay, I emailed perfect. him. I reached perfect. back out okay. to him. Yeah, because he was a really nice guy, and he stayed here with uh, just asking all kinds of great Actually, questions. Actually, some so of the, yeah. the same article and stuff like that, very similar uh, articles, and yeah, it, it actually prompted him to go check in with his doctor. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so night sweats. Should you be concerned? It's not uncommon to sweat during the night. You may sweat a little or a lot, depending on how many blankets you sleep with, how, how warm your room is, and even what you ate before going to bed. But if you sweat enough to regularly wake, wake up with wet pajamas and bedding, there could be an underlying issue. Now that's pretty scary when it gets that bad. Mm -hmm. So there's far less concerning issues. Issues like GERD, which is reflux disease. Um, along with night sweats, GERD can cause heartburn, chest pain, problems with swallowing, regurgitation, sleep issues, respiratory problems, coughing, and increased symptoms of asthma. So that's GERD. Then other things like stress and anxiety, hormonal issues. Now this one's important because this is where a lot of the female audience falls into and this is menopause. This is uh, stuff, well, just like menopause. We, we hear a lot of, from our female customers mm -hmm. about how do I stop sweating so much at night because they get power surges and it causes an intense heat that causes them to sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. That's where we originally started carrying the tensile sheets. Mm -hmm. That's actually when we first opened the stores, uh, we, we initially found Tencel just because of that because it's such a good wicking fabric and it allows for so much airflow mm -hmm. and it would cool down, you know, issues that people were having during menopause. Uh, not people, females, ladies, mm -hmm. women. And then men with low testosterone. <laughs> you figure yourself out. Yeah, I like there. that. I, you, did you see that? There was a hole and I started digging. I was like looking at it. Okay. <laughs> so low testosterone is also another hormonal issue that can cause a, sweat, a night sweat issue. Um, there's hyper th hyperthyroidism that causes, I know that causes temperature increases in the body. So yeah. And then things like medication. Certain drugs can cause night sweats as a side effect. Uh, steroids, prednisone and cortisone, those can cause night sweats. Antidepressants, pain relief medications like aspirin and acetaminophen. Medications for diabetes. That one surprised me. That one surprised me. So that was kind of crazy. Horm hormone therapy medications. Um, that includes men and women then. Yeah, that includes men and women. More concerning issues. So this is where we start talking about going to the doctor for these issues, okay? Um, this would be sleep apnea. Now this is one that you addressed with him, mm -hmm. correct? So talk to me about that one. Uh, we, I know you researched this. That's why I'm asking yeah, you to go with so this. Yeah, so we um, we receive a lot of service members here in mm -hmm. our store because we're really we're located right next to um, an Air, uh, Holloman Air Force Base, and a lot of our service members come in and they actually have service related sleep apnea. It's very common um, in service members. So, you know, it's one of one of something that I always ask them because if I can help them with an adjustable base or anything like that, then uh, that's where that topic comes up. Because we're mm -hmm. not medical professionals, we're not no. doctors, right? You know, and I, you know, and you don't have to share that medical information with us, but uh, it, it is directly related to your quality of sleep right. and your life and your wellness. So that's where it comes up. Um, 
absolutely it can you can uh, start to in your sleep apnea phase you you know the oxygen levels you're you're just you're trying to get a breath and you are not able to breathe and your air where airway is obstructed and that causes all kinds of processes and your body goes into a reaction to that and so it can be directly linked to your sleep apnea mm-hmm. so if you have that and you're you're having that you need to have that checked out because yeah. Yeah, your body's definitely. trying to tell you something your body is trying to tell you something if you have regular night sweats it's trying to tell you something and it can be any of these you also had uh, highlighted down there the tick-borne illnesses. Well, we haven't gotten that far oh, yet. I'm jumping yeah. ahead. Sorry. You're jumping so ahead. I'm so excited about that one because it's a big topic. It's coming up. We got summer this coming is... up. Sorry. <laughs> Even Dion's like, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> really? I get so, worked up about that. I'm a dog person. So I, I will I will address <laughs> what, what she said. Yes. Yeah, we address a lot of medical issues, especially in this in this topic here. We, we don't hand out medical advice. What we do is when you guys tell us the symptoms that you're having, what we do is there, there's certain products that we can relate that to. We're consultants. So we're, we can consult, consult with you on that, okay? So I just wanna clarify that because I know that we cover a lot of medical stuff. We don't give medical advice, but we do consult with you about finding much better sleep, okay? Because there are tips, there are mm-hmm. ways of doing it. Um, there's, there's ways of giving advice without being a medical person we can just consult with people mm. it's, okay? it's being part of that journey because right. you have to it's you have total to part of the journey figure out these and we're a resource center we're just trying to help be a resource for a better night's sleep yes a sleep definitely. education center definitely okay so cancer now this one scared me because i didn't know that cancer had caused unexplained night sweats and wow, they could be the, it yeah. could be a symptom of it so that one's going to scare a lot of people that one I, I would take that one super serious. Um, and then here's the one that you wanted to talk about the most. Serious infections. Now, I came up with things like tuberculosis, um, brucelliosis, but you came up with tick-borne diseases. Now, please tell us about this because I know it's a major issue here locally. Oh man, it, it's a huge one. And as a biologist, I come across it quite a bit. So I also... I'm involved in field coursing, which is kind of like falconry. Um, I was also involved in falconry. Mm -hmm. So field coursing is uh, using sight hounds, greyhounds and stuff to catch rabbits. And I also work with local wildlife biologists to do jackrabbit surveys. Um, And then with the falconers uh, in our state, we also, I communicate with them a lot. So my most uh, close encounters with ticks are actually through desert black-tailed jackrabbits uh, and cottontail rabbits that are being caught by the hawks or the dogs. Um, my dogs being hunting hounds, uh, they do bring home those rabbits and we would catch those rabbits and then feed them to our educational hawks, eagles, and falcons and donate those to some of the zoos and the wildlife oh, rehabilitation okay. centers. So I have a lot of hands-on uh, experience with that and there have been a couple times in my life that I've been scared uh, with some tick-borne uh, illnesses. Now that can include Lyme's disease, mm-hmm. uh, it can inc- include um, something called ehrlichiosis and, or, or ehrlichia. Um, and so we need to take that seriously because we have the uh, Texas star uh, tick, yeah. lone star t- tick. That's um, the big one here. And we got some small ones and so, and they can like hanger and l- linger around year round. Um, you definitely need to treat your dogs this time of the year for ticks yeah. and fleas. Not only can it make your animal sick, but it can make you very, very sick. Makes you very sick, yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a lot more on that whole list of, of tick-borne illnesses. And you don't want to get Lyme's disease. I had a great friend, a veterinarian, uh, that unfortunately she had Lyme's disease. So it's it causes some problems. There's, mm-hmm. we're, there needs to be more awareness about that. So, yep. yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. No, um, but that can cause night sweats. I know we we kind of went on a tangent, but that is a pretty important topic. So things to try to cool yourself down. Number one, crack a window, sleep in a cooler room, leave the windows cracked, get some airflow. Just basically find a way to cool down your bedroom. Okay, Okay. so you're addressing that one. Next, change your bedding, okay? I know a lot of us or a lot of people think that cotton is the best fabric, it's the fabric of our lives. Well, it shouldn't be the fabric of your bed because cotton actually holds sweat Mm -hmm. and it uh, it honestly is the hottest fabric that there is out there. It It will keep your body temperature on your bed so that way you will uh, sleep super hot, Mm -hmm. okay? Another thing, now this one was cool. 
Use an ice pack. Put an ice pack underneath your pillow. I hadn't heard this one in anything else. So that that's that's an interesting one. So I'm gonna try that one. That that will work. You can put that with little puppy. I'm going on another tangent here, but no, no. little puppies. <laughs> Reel it in. During the summertime they love to sleep on in. frozen bottles. It works. It works for animals, it'll work for people. You done? Frozen bottles? Are you done? No. Go for it. <laughs> Keep going. Alright. Apply a cool washcloth. Um, drink cold water. Here's one that a lot of people don't think of. Adjust your exercise timing. Now. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, because okay. if you exercise yeah. right before bed, your body heat is already at its highest. So it takes it a little bit longer to cool down. So mm -hmm. adjust your exercise timing. Uh, take a shower. Take a nice cool shower before bed. Now, I'm not a cool shower. I, I actually don't talk to people about, about taking a cool shower. I tell people to take a warm shower because the minute you step out of that shower, you're going into the room temperature. Room temperature then becomes cooler and it actually cools you down. Yeah, and there's some evaporation yeah. science that's happening right yeah, too, yeah. too. So, so lots of science. Also, avoid sweat triggers, which avoid spicy foods, avoid smoking cigarettes, avoid drinking alcohol. Do all, of, do all four of those are your problems. <laughs> Not really. She's like the healthiest person. I am so person. sensitive to that, too. She's, too. she's like, like the healthiest I'm person the healthiest, on earth right now. <laughs> I'm the healthiest person that I know. I'm the most conscious person of what's going into my body. The very, my very My body conscious. is a temple right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other day, she was eating wheat bread. Not just any wheat bread. It was like special wheat bread I am super with conscious almond about butter. What I put into my body. Yeah, super I'm conscious. Be Look so at you. Right now. All right, so that was today's topic. It's night sweats. I'll share that in the description below. Um, that one's that one's a pretty interesting topic. I know that a lot of people deal with it, uh, and it's got some serious stuff to it. So yeah, I'll I'll share that with y'all. Just remember, okay. your body is trying to tell you something. Yes. What What are you doing? I'm, I'm really not even supposed to eat sugar right now, but it matches my outfit. <laughs> This is a Hammond's handmade candy cane in the shape of a heart, made in Colorado, small batched. It's amazing. It's even got organic cane sugar. All of this is, is certified organic. Ooh. So it's a healthy treat. No pesticides. Where do you get healthy no treat from candy? Colorado. Oh. Is that mm -hmm. all you need to say? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So time awesome. for our first question because that was actually the whole purpose of us starting Fishbowl. Are you done? Because <laughs> the microphone can pick up your smacking. I, I was like, I need to eat something that's really annoying. <laughs> okay, so are your, pajama, are your pajamas a year-round thing or are they just for winter time? They are a year-round thing. They are a year-round thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Some people wear their pajamas all the time. I got some pajamas right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Our, 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 our guy, um, Dion, um, he actually showed up pick it, to pick up his paycheck in his, his pajamas. his pajamas? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that was all about. Yeah, he's was one all, of us. Just, just a little too comfortable. Just a little too comfortable. Well, Saturdays we all wear pajamas. Th yeah. This is a pajama. So this is a pajama this store. This is a pajama yes, but, place. But We've got lazy up, one. Yeah. Coming to pick up your paycheck in your pajamas, I don't know. I go all kinds of places in my pajamas. Okay, anyways. All right. Yes, our pajamas are kept out year-round, so please come see us for Lazy those. one. Yeah, I had a, a gal come in today. She was so excited that we were carrying Lazy One. She bought four different sets. That was today? That was just before close. Oh, wow. That was, that was our last sale today. Uh -huh. She bought tank tops, <clears throat> our shorts, because we have the summer pajama sets right now. Mm -hmm. Super cute uh, sets. She also bought um, some long ones because she was shopping around locally, and she's like, you have the best selection of Lazy One pajamas here locally. Oh, she that's goes, I've awesome. I've seen them in other places but they don't have the full um, gamut that we do. Well, so we've, worked, we've worked hard to get all, all the lazy ones that we can possibly get. And we've even got, now we have the 2021s out, right? We do. Now we're okay. still waiting some other 2021s because there's some back order in issues. But oh, okay. There, I mean, so the COVID has not let any business untouched, but we do have those. Come on by, we've got yeah. kids, we've got infants, we've got adults. I love the tank tops. Yeah, the 2021s oh. are pretty cool. And we've got, for men, we've got these boxers. Oh, I that just happened to be up one. here? Yeah, we have butt quack. This is one of my favorites. It's butt quack. We also have one that has a donkey on it that I think I can't even say because it's like lazy. Er, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, all yeah. right. So on to the next question. That's Thank you. That's perfect for Father's Day. That's yes, what was up yeah, here. That's, that's, that's her shameless plug for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't buy font. I, wow. I don't buy furniture often, but when I do, I really want it to last and not have any issues with it. I have heard that today's furniture is throwaway after a few years. Whoa. Can you please explain why that is? What happened to getting furniture and keeping it for many years? Do you carry any furniture that will last or is this something of the past? There's a real question right there. What is your feelings on that? And then I'm going to share mine because I do a lot of the furniture research. You do a lot of furniture research. <laughs> is this where I get to put on my aluminum hat? Yes, put on your aluminum <laughs> hat. I think there's a whole conspiracy to it. <laughs> Never mind. Take off the aluminum hat and give us your research. <laughs> no, we're we're supposed to be a consumer society. Mm -hmm. And the more we consume, the more consumeristic we are. So they don't want to make stuff that lasts. They want it to break so that you have to buy some more. More, And right. then my aluminum hat is going to make me stop there because then I start going into all of the chemicals and I'm like, they're trying to hurt me. <laughs> No. Yeah, it's all no. toxic. Stop. <laughs> it's kind of Reel like, it in. It's kind Reel of like it in. The cereal. In the <laughs> Reel it in. The Stay within the parameters <laughs> of the show. <laughs> I think that if without my aluminum head on, I think it's to encourage a materialistic consumer society so that okay. you have to make a purchase sooner than later. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Actually, my thoughts on it are, so there's different price points. Yes, there is still furniture out there that lasts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you get that high into the price point land, it's not where your average consumer is going to be. Okay. You're talking, you're, you're talking much higher than your average consumer wants to spend. Those, now we're talking heirloom, heirloom furniture. We're talking stuff like that. So yes, it's still out there. Um, and then in the middle price Ooh, zones, you got the Amish. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. Is some Amish is amazing. Stuff up there. Yeah, we need that. Yep. So, and then the middle price point. Middle price point, you can get it to last. It is good. It's it's very good. We sell we sell mid to high. We do not sell a whole lot of heirloom. We can get heirloom. Um, it's just that heirloom is. Heirloom something that, that you have to have that special customer that's going to last. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. going to stay on your sales floor a while. It is going to sell, but it's not going to turn quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. With us, the mid to high moves very quickly. It does last quite a few years. W what I think she's asking is for something that's going to last many, many years. I think she's asking about the heirloom type of the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what you see a lot in a lot of these furniture stores is the low is the low to mid so low to mid is the stuff that it's the couches that will last you maybe what a, a, a year and a half is that what the average well, lifespan is i guess yeah that i mean when my mom just recently purchased online you know what she ended up with it looked really nice online but then when it got to her it was just the quality was really not very good and it's yeah. made of that chipboard or that yeah. I don't even know it. And then there's like cardboard components in there. There's like pieces of it that's like cardboard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're like, what crazy. is going on? Yeah. And so like, you know, it's perfect for if you're just first starting out. Right. Or if you're going to just be in a place and you just need a place to sit. I mean, I'm not below that. Like I've done the whole beanbag thing. I think yeah. a couple times I'm like, you know what? Let's just go and get some beanbags because mm -hmm. I don't have any furniture right now. And uh, I'm in transition, so let's just plop some bean bags down, yeah. and that's cool. To yeah, do, everybody's so. been there. It's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, there's a lot of different price points, but yeah, you can find it. It's just a little bit harder to right to right. find. Mm -hmm. And we we do have access to it. We don't carry it that often. We have had a couple of heirloom pieces in here, but it's not something that moves quickly. And uh, right now, and especially in this political, I mean, this economic climate, not political climate, wrong word. In this economic climate, yeah, we don't do that here. We don't do that. There's a big like there's divide a line. Here. There's That's a why line. The chairs are yeah. different colors. Yeah, there's a line. <laughs> yeah, no. In this economic quiet uh, environment, we oh. actually have to be very careful on what we pick, and it has to turn quickly in order for in order for any business to survive. You have to turn quickly. You right have now. to be able to turn yeah. stuff quick. Yep. yep. And and be on your toes and stuff mm -hmm. that's gonna take up floor space when you have limited floor space. Yep. It yep. All contributes. So so the answer is yes, it's accessible. Yes, it's out there. Yes, we can get it. 
will you find it here no we would have to order for you especially right now and ordering um Ordering would take a little bit. Whatever yeah. vortex or wormhole that we went into in 2019 of December, I'm telling you why. It could take some people eight to nine months to get yeah. special order furniture right now. We're still hearing November on a couple of furniture Did pieces. Did I even say in the last show that someone had purchased a sectional? And it, so a customer purchased a sectional online couch mm -hmm. and it came to them in piecemeal it came to them in individual pieces over the course of nine months are you serious that is a long enough time oh, to have a baby i remember that yeah and it was like here's one piece and then a couple months later here's another piece it took them nine months to get their entire rest of their section wow that's crazy yeah so okay so before we go to break i am going to bring up one thing now mel's mom this is the chair to the sofa and the um, mm -hmm. the sofa and the love seat that you had asked her for. Yay. So this 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 is the one that you're coming for right here, mm -hmm. right here. Yep. I chose it for beneath her, so that way you would <laughs> see your daughter sitting on it, so that way you'd see what family would look like on it. Oh, that's so yeah. that's yeah. so nice. Yeah, this is the Newport Leather Italia. Yep. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're gonna go on break. We'll be Yay. right back. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Melanie with Live Well, and I just received a super awesome package. The UPS delivery guy just came by and this is like Christmas for me. I am super excited. So last week we featured a new item video with our friend Ruben from Pure Care and he filled us with so much information that our heads just exploded about the possibilities of having a cool night uh, sleep system, your sheets, tin cell, your mattress protectors. And then Ruben started talking to me about a really magical uh, fabric that I can't even completely describe right now because it so, so, sounds completely out of this world magical technology. What we're talking about uh, in here is inside of this box and I am super excited to share this with you. So let's see what magic is in here. So I'm gonna open this up. And thank you Ruben for sending this over. I'm so excited I don't even have words for how excited I am. Look at that, it's even pink, it matches my shirt. All right, so, clear this off. Ooh, we can take all of this and I'm gonna give it to Gretch because she likes to chase Javier around with those. And, So in this first box, it looks like we have the Salient Premium Sheets. These are performance fibers. Ooh, and they are for my bed. I'm gonna give them a test tr trial. Uh, these are clinically tested Salient fibers for recovery. Super excited about this. And this is going to be the mattress protector made out of Salient as well. Now Salient, ooh, we got another second box before I go forward. Let's check out this big one here. What's in here? What could it possibly be? You gotta always cut away from you. <laughs> and as any good Boy Scout or Girl Scout, you gotta always close your knife. Proper knife etiquette. There we go. That one was for my buddies in Boy Scouts. All right, oh, and it looks like we got a second set as well. So, our buddy Ruben really hooked us up here with this material. Now this material caught my attention because Ruben was telling me that this is what our top athletes are using for recovery. Even the racehorses right now, this material is woven into their blankets to help them recover. And everybody that knows me knows I love uh, racehorsing and stuff like that. So this material is designed to take your own infrared energy, like if you were looking at an infrared camera and that all those colorful things that you see there on the screen, that energy is gonna be stored inside of this fabric and then it goes back into your body. It goes back into your own cells and it promotes circulation, healing and recovery. And it also says that it can perform 
or it can increase your performance and promote a restful night's sleep. So super excited about this. I'm gonna learn everything I possibly can about Pure Care's uh, salient sheets and then I will report back to you. And we're gonna talk about it in Fishbowl coming up and we're also gonna do a new item video specifically on this. I'm so excited, yay! That was a little bit more, I'm more like this. <laughs> And we're back. You know what? This is not as sweet and overwhelming. Is that a hair? No, it's not. It's a mouse hair. I'm going to hit you with this. <laughs> All right. These so. are delicious. It is not as overwhelming. I thought it was going to be like too much sweet. Mm -hmm. This would be this would be awesome if they came in little tiny stir sticks for the tea. They do. Ooh, we need to buy yeah. some of that. No, no, yeah. we don't. Good stuff. Yeah, no. Good stuff. That's okay. a great gift idea. So this is the part of the show where we do Mel's crazy <laughs> hypothetical question. You pause too long. You told me to you pause. You gotta stop pausing. No apostrophe. A pause. There's Mel's an apostrophe. Mel's crazy, and then you told me a pause. Hypothetical question. Okay. All right. So, what is your hypothetical question this week? <laughs> All right, so we have to have a theme. Okay. So this theme is obviously like Disneyland themed. Oh, oh, because last week was space, so this one's Disneyland. Yeah. So oh, okay. I got to tie in my hypotheticals to my costume. Let me warm up here. All, All right. right. So. All right. Because we, a lot of us couldn't go and travel to the places that we wanted to go. Okay. Because the world was shut down. Okay. Is this all hypothetical now? Okay. <laughs> if you could go on a road trip uh -huh. with any. Walt Disney character okay. with you, two, two Disney characters. I get to go on a road trip with two, two Disney characters. of your favorite Disney characters. Okay. Who would you go with? How many hours are we driving? Well, it depends on where you want to go and where you want to be. But you just said I was going on a road trip. Well, where am road, I going? You get to choose that. Where are you going? So now I'm picking a location and two characters? No, you said that would make the show too long. I'm confused. Now you're making the show long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to choose two characters to go on a road trip with. Yeah. Hey, you got onto me for my Greyhound tangent. Okay. I got Greyhound I'm, I'm supporters asking... across the globe. I there am... was a friend here from Italy. I didn't get to see him because I was working here with you. I could have saw him. He was an hour away. <gasps> How sad. It's all right. What was your hypothetical question again? <laughs> If you can go on a road trip with any two Walt Disney characters, where would you go? Where would I go? Yeah. I thought it was the character question. And who would you take with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so I'm going to pick two characters to go on a road trip. Okay. Yeah, who is it, man? Who is, is it? it? <laughs> who is it? Okay, so first off, Ooh. if I were to pick Goofy. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely pick Goofy, but not him driving. Have you seen any of his cartoons where he's driving? <laughs> he's ridiculous. He's horrible. Yeah, yeah. So he's not going to be the driver. Oh, gosh. No, next up. Um, okay, so Goofy. And then I have to have a, I'm, I'm a good, big road conversation person. So yeah, somebody that so, you can talk to? Yeah, so Cruella, Cruella you DeVille. You talk during road trips? Oh, Who I, does I, that? I, I, t I talk. Yeah. I could yeah, yeah I yeah. couldn't do that with you. I'm yeah. all about the music. Yeah, no, no, no music. I like to have smart conversations and I believe I can have a smart conversation with Cruella. Cruella DeVille, the one yes. that killed the Dalmatian puppies? For yes, their but fur? <laughs> she's a business person and I think I could have an intelligent <laughs> conversation have, with you her. You could have PETA all over you. <laughs> it's just Cruella. She's a business person? She's a business was she not running a business? She was looking for furs. She found it. Think about it. There was profit to be made, and there was little cost. That woman knew how to yeah, watch the I'm bottom line. Yeah, I'm bringing in a whole bunch more vegan stuff. Like yeah. my sutra, that's vegan. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> so those are my two characters. <laughs> well, who are your two characters? All right. My two characters would be, well, I'm a dog person. I always have to have a dog with me. Okay. Well, like I have to have like five or six. Would Cruella, would Cruella want to eat Goofy or want to make a coat out of Goofy? <laughs> I just thought of that. 
did you really? That is so twisted. <laughs> God, I hope you're not going to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was it? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm a dog person. I got to have Pluto. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, goodness, I got to have, have Pluto. I would do Cruella and Pluto. I used to carry around a little pl- Pluto. Oh. Yeah, because when I went to Disneyland, I we bought a Pluto when I was a little girl. So... Uh, my favorite, and then uh, it's got to be the genie from Aladdin. Ooh, I like Robin him. Robin Williams. I like him. Yeah. Yes, yes. That would make it. That would yeah. make it the best that would road be, trip ever. Because you would could be, be like, "Hey, trip. genie," and you get three wishes, and then, yeah. I mean, talk about That's a road cool. trip. No, mine's more like I want to talk business with Cruella while she's trying not to take the skin off of. You're the weirdo. That's horrible. <laughs> That's not a good pairing. This is All right. horrible. Your hypothetical wrong. is wrong. Yeah, no, I don't think I my, like it. There's nothing wrong about it. You're wrong. I don't think I like your Can we choose somebody besides her? No, I You're like her. You're making the show too long. All Come right. On. Anyways, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next we move on to our topics, uh, or our, I'm sorry, uh, the news of the week, what we learned. So mm-hmm. what did you learn this week? Because... I can tell you all kinds of stuff I learned because it's been a very stress. <laughs> it's been a very stressful week for me. So you I have tell me. I've learned so much. I'm like I'm to the point where I turn on the television and then I'm like we're turning that back off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it can be on for a little bit, mm-hmm. and I feel like it's been like two years where I'm like, nope, nope, we're turning it back off right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna kind of see the headlines. And I'm going to scroll the headlines. And, like, what used to be in the Inquirer, like, is, like, normal stuff. So I'm not sure what vortex wormhole we entered. My I keep having to add aluminum layers to my aluminum hat. Oh, it's a big hat. And it's, it's, it's a got, big hat. Her, her aluminum hat's gotten even bigger. It's getting pretty yeah. big at yeah. this point. This morning I shared an article from Newsweek with her on an alien <laughs> that was walking through a bridge in India. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and she okay. she just had a heart attack with that. Well, and no, I was like, that's a starving human being. It was not a starving human being. That thing walked like a freaking alien. Okay, I'm gonna show you the video and yeah. We're no. gonna play the video on here. No, I'm not gonna, so, gonna. I'm not gonna well, share that kind of stuff. He telling me that, and I was like, that's not real. That's like that's that's clickbait. And he's like, oh, no, it was in Newsweek. It was in Newsweek. Like, yeah. Newsweek. So, but last week I had just said in my spacesuit, and I've been talking about this wormhole, and I was like, man, if if aliens showed up next week, I would just be like, yep. Cling. Real deal. We got aliens walking around India. Um, okay, so what did you learn this week? Let's stay on this one because we keep going off topic. You know, have you ever seen a skinwalker? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> What did you learn this week? Remember? <laughs> the realm. Sorry, we I'm talked like about there's borders. I, this We're, there's gone. borders. There's borders. Yeah. What did I learn this week? I learned so much this week. Um, I learned that it's raining mice in Australia. Yes. Mm-hmm. Literally, like they are having an eruption of mice, of mice yep. and mm-hmm. rodents, and like people's homes are being overtaken mm-hmm. by these rodents, and they're crawling into the walls, and they're jumping into the covers with them I would not in their like beds that. and biting like them. Yeah, I wouldn't like that at all. And so for the first time in a very long time, I was like, I might need to get a cat. So we so we are going to start. And a terrier we are and a rat start. terrier and a jag terrier and uh, a patter tail. We're going to start selling rat-proof sheets. They're made of Kevlar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, when are the locusts going to show up? They already did. I missed Bling! There was locusts? Okay, there was locusts, yes. Was this after or before the murdering wasps? I lost track. I just can't keep... Are you going to... Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go with what I learned because mine was stressful and she's just stressing me out because she's calling every conspiracy... Did Chinese crazy seeds that just started showing up in people's mailboxes? Cling! (laughs) Okay, so... Are you done? Yeah, I have to be done with the show. Okay, because this is taking... Yeah, this is taking me research. I learned... um, (laughs) I learned that <laughs> I did learn that we are this is a legit thing. Okay. I actually had three different customers come into the store and they told me that they were just coming here to learn about mattresses. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We we are being seen as a resource for 
uh, people that are wanting to learn before they buy. I thought and that was super that's awesome. That's awesome because that's the whole point of having this show and then having the new items. Okay, you have to talk about Salient because you haven't talked about it yet. Oh, okay. We're going to talk about Salient. Mm -hmm. um, we got somebody low crawling over here. Yep. Who is low crawling back there? He's sneaking yeah. up on me. You want to yeah. come up here? Come over here. Come up and hop up here. Come on. You gotta check out Grand's new chair. Yeah. Come no, on. No, you gotta come up here. You gotta move come faster on. than that. You gotta like it. <gasps> all right. <laughs> so Oliver's here this week. Okay, so salient sheets. Got yes, because you. Cause, That's a good. I like your. Because you did the video watch. that we played during the break. Yes. But you're also starting your experiment this week. This Sunday. Right? Yes. So uh, we will. Okay. So Ruben and Pure Care and all mm -hmm. of their team there hooked us up with some amazing salient sheets. So okay. I had gotten really excited about these because when Ruben was here, he was talking about how amazing these were and the health mm -hmm. benefits. Um, and it can increase oxygen levels. It can. <laughs> careful, you're gonna fall off there. Um, it can increase blood flow. It's great for all kinds of different um, amazing things. So if you have diabetes. Uh, fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. uh, chronic pain, nerve, any of this stuff, it's supposed to take your energy, your like infrared energy, the mm -hmm. energy that you can see in an infrared camera, and then kind of s recycle that back into your body. Now this is the same salient sheets and fabrics that they're weaving into say like horse racing blankets and the recovery of some of those and athletes athletic wear and uh, athletic wear for humans yeah. as well yeah yeah so. she talks about the the horse racing and i'm all over i'm literally all over the <laughs> web the, all over the internet looking for the clothing that has the salient fabric in it this stuff is amazing yeah, yeah totally this awesome stuff is amazing so <laughs> yeah so we're gonna sleep in those um this weekend because we're going to wash them off we're going to put them on the beds mm -hmm. and i will be able to report back to you next week on if that improved my quality of sleep because mm -hmm. it's supposed to increase in, in, increase blood flow and mm -hmm. oxygen mm -hmm. levels and if you have arthritis joints or arthritic joints kind of open up some of those channels there so and, i'm and really for, excited about for it. those of you that have doubt on this fabric this is real this is fda approved as a medical device this fabric is approved as a medical device so this is yeah. real stuff this is approved yeah. medical device yeah. this, this isn't, isn't like woo -woo snake oil yeah no yeah. i mean i know i've got my some uh I, I know i got my salt lamps plugged in all over oh man those are awesome yeah anyways you're gonna t step off on a tangent so we're gonna step on the same <laughs> we're gonna keep stay on that okay so, so salient, salient fabric next friday We'll talk about it then. We're going to have follow-up videos on it as well. And that now, was our break. And that mm -hmm. was that was the break that you saw the video on that. Okay? Cool. So now what I learned this week is that um, I'm doing a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's a reason for this. I, I no longer have a vehicle. <laughs> we had an accident in the company and we're out of vehicle right now. This mm -hmm. is very stressful. But luckily everybody's okay. Um, we're just, you know, we're just dealing with it right now. Hey, it's 2021. Yeah, it's 2021. We're in the vortex. Just, Things are going to happen. You just roll with the Things punches. Things are going to happen, yeah. Roll with so, the punches. So we're rolling with the punches. Luckily, I don't live that far. Um, so I actually walk to work anyways. We already talked about that on this show. So, yeah, it's just riding a bike places and, and walking places until the insurance money. But I have learned, okay? You're I gave, a lot of places. I gave the same interview to five different people yesterday. Every time I closed that office door was the same interview, same questions. What happened? How did this happen? What was the weather like? What was this? What was that? The same interview five different times. It got to a point where I actually wrote down my answers and I just read it off to the next person. <laughs> yeah. So that actually happened. I am learning how to deal with the insurance. They are wonderful people. They are, um, they're just trying to do their job. So really that's all it is. Uh, the other thing I learned this week was that uh, the foam shortage is finally being dealt with woohoo yeah oh, so that is awesome we're getting back on track so we're here. getting back on they track people we're getting back on track chemicals back online and then That's today a positive today you're going to see it in the news it, uh, uh, this was just beginning research but this is this is going you're going to see in the news in the next couple of days um lumber mm -hmm. is about to the the prices are about to tumble because things are getting back to normal mm -hmm. and um the the supplies are actually catching up cool hey, so, those are all positive so yeah so the price of lumber is about to tumble this is interesting i'm going to start watching that because that that tells us how the rest of the economy is going to go as things adjust yeah so yeah you can get some and, growth out of and that. one more thing 
GM is finally producing cars again. They've they've eased really? their they've eased their chip shortage, and wow. they've started producing cars again. So wow. maybe in a couple of months we're going to start seeing normal levels of vehicles. <laughs> So, with that... Hey, something very <laughs> special is happening next Oh, week. yeah. What's happening? I what's coming? Day. It's oh. your birthday? Your birthday's coming up oh, next Oh, my week. goodness. Yeah. How old are you? 30? Five. Oh, you're going to be five? No, six. I don't you're going to be six. six? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. You sure? Wow. You positive? I can't believe you're already going to be They let six-year-olds in the SWAT team? I got the six. <laughs> it's not that birthday yet. No, but next week in just a couple of days you're gonna be six and and what did you got an early birthday present? Yeah, you is, got a nice watch. What's that? Yeah. Look at that. That's a big boy watch right there. Look at that. Look at that. Learning to tell time nice, already. Nice. Oh yeah. So before we go, we wanna mention that we have um all kinds of wonderful gifts for Father's yes. Day. We've got um poopery, we've got this one is gone flushing. We've got Master Craftsman. Master Craftsman, that's that, awesome. That's perfect. We have a little brew pack. I like this little brew pack. This one's super cute. Number two, brew pack. Natural and unfiltered. That's pretty amazing. Not that that's disgusting, but okay. And then we've got Camp Papa Squat. We got some root beer candies. And I'm gonna spray your feet. I would totally go for this two in one goat milk moisturizing hand and body cream for men. I actually have used that. That's awesome. That's how my hands recovered from uh, using all the what do you call that? The Purell stuff. The um, Oh uh, the hand sanitizer, the sa hand sanitizer this sanitizer. last yeah. couple years. Yeah. Yeah. So that stuff, guys, if your hands have cracked from using so much sanitizer, Let's not talk about going to get your fingernails done. Let's just talk about using that, okay? That's the man way to do it. It has a great Dion's, smell. It's Dion's saying, clean. no, I get petties. Dion's saying, I get petties. That's what he's saying off camera. Yep, he gets petties. <laughs> All right, with that, we'll see you next week. All Have right. a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.